Hey peeps in YouTube land, Asenva here, and a surprise! Oh my goodness, so what is this cute little naked doll that I have? Well, it is the new Hujo 12 centimeter baby doll! And today we're going to do a little review so you can see what they are like and how they pose and how awesome and how fantastically cute they are! So a little FYI on these guys, um, they are produced by a company called Hujo, which is a Korean company. Um, they are made of ABS plastic. These guys are 12 centimeters. Um, this is the junkie spot card so you can see in comparison how small they are. They are strung just like any other BJD, uh, except these guys, they just have a knot that ties their strings together at the head, at the top of the head. Uh, they do have a separate string for the legs, which you can see down here. And then they have a string for the arms, just like your normal BJD would have. But like I said, there's no S hook, so you would have to actually essentially just tie the knot up here. And it uses those two strings of elastic for the body. Yay, so let's start looking at them. We'll start at the top, at the head. And it has a peg system for the head cap, um, in which you've got the two pegs here. And they fit right through here on these two opposite sides. And like I mentioned earlier, it's made out of ABS plastic, so whenever you're putting in the head cap or taking it off, just make sure you take your time with it. Uh, you don't want any damage to occur, so just be extra super careful. The eyes, he does have eye sockets, and you can put putty in there to go ahead and just keep the eye in there. Right now, he is wearing um, these glib acrylic eyes. They look really cool. And they have the stems. And it fits really nicely into the socket. These are 10 millimeter eyes that he's using right now. So as far as the head goes, um, he has a really good range of movement going left to right. Not too much going up and down. His arms are really good though. Uh, he does have a actual ball joint right here in the wrist that gives him a really good range of movement for his hand to move in. It's a single joint right here and right here. But even though it's just that simple. He is really good at touching his face still. So um, he has a really really good jointing system in his arms and in his legs which I'll show you in a bit. His torso joint is really interesting. He does have the ability to slouch up and to go back. He can go from side to side and there is no hip joint. So it's just one solid piece down here. But if we travel down to the legs the knees, they can bend like this. It doesn't have like a double joint, but I mean, it's got a great range for, for what he's constructed with and his joints. His legs, his feet, also have that separate part here, the floating piece, that gives him a really good range for his little feet to move in. Just like the Hujos, um, he does have that locking type system in his legs to where when he sits or when he's standing, it kind of just stops because it's got that lock. I think it's really good. It enables him to like sit and keep his poses a little bit better because he has that. I'm really, I'm really amazed by these little dolls. They are really well made. So all in all, I think they're fantastic, cute little dolls to have. They're very affordable. You can actually buy them from the Junkie Spot right now. They have three different types of sculpts that you can get. This one is the Suve, or I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it, but it's the S-U-V-E. It's an apricot, and I had him, um, he was blank, and so I actually did the face up and the blushing for him, which was an adventure in itself because it's interesting painting on tiny dolls. They are $25 if you buy them blank, which is an amazing deal for such a really well-crafted doll. You can order them with a face up. That will bump the price to $45, which is still a really good price for a uh, tiny if you're looking just to have uh, a cute little one to have in your house. So I mean, either way, it's a win-win situation. They're a great price, um, wonderfully sculpted, and they're just so cute! 
I keep referring to mine as a he. I'm not quite sure. I don't think they're really gendered, but I'm making mine into a boy. But they're super cute. They're pretty much like the same size as uh, Fairyland's Pookie Pookies that they have, or the Lati dolls, but the white Lati Lati white dolls. They're in that range. They're really tiny um, compared to my other dolls, and I'll take some pictures to show you guys what they look like compared to SDs and EOSDs. So I hope my little review helped anybody that may have been curious about these cute little dolls. Um, they are fantastic. You can get them from the Junkie Spot. And I will have some pictures for you guys in comparison with my other dolls. And I'll see you guys later.